Sure. So cystic fibrosis patients are very susceptible to pulmonary exacerbations. Pulmonary exacerbations are a situation where a patient's infection and inflammation get so overheated that they ultimately require rescue medication. That rescue medication is often very heavy doses of steroids, which is not healthy to use on a long-term basis. They also, also require new antibiotic therapy to kind of calm that bacterial infection that's gotten overheated. And in many cases, patients wind up in the hospital. And that's not just a big clinical outcome, a bad outcome, because you can imagine patients with CF are students, they're professionals, like you and I, and three weeks in the hospital with permanent lung damage as a consequence of the end of that three weeks is not really a good outcome. And unfortunately, with the best care in the world today, patients still exhibit pulmonary exacerbations. And the beauty of our phase two program with aspilostat is that by adding once daily aspilostat in into a patient's current treatment regimen, we can decrease the number of pulmonary exacerbations they have on an annual basis. That has uh, good clinical consequences, prolonging lung life. That has good cost-effectiveness consequences, because as you can imagine, a pulmonary exacerbation that requires hospitalization is very expensive. In fact, in a severe pulmonary exacerbation costs the healthcare system $120,000 per patient per episode. And so by reducing exacerbations with aspilostat, we can improve lung life by reducing damage from overheated inflammation. We can also potentially reduce overall cost of care for patients with cystic fibrosis by ke keeping them out of the, uh, the hospital or the acute care setting. Sure. So we've just completed our phase two program and it shows very important signals for reduction in pulmonary exacerbations in patients with CF. We're beginning the planning process now working with our advisors, very importantly working with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, uh, to get our regulatory submission together for both the European Union and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to get their concordance on what phase three program would look like. We will be focusing on patients with milder disease to try and interdict that overheated immune response to slow down the long-term damage that's associated with too much inflammation with cystic fibrosis. And our primary outcome will likely be pulmonary exacerbations. This will be the first uh, anti-inflammatory that's studying pulmonary exacerbations in a phase three registration trial. So we're pretty excited about having that dialogue with the FDA, EMEA, and we target starting the trial sometime in the second half of 2019.